Good afternoon all. I've got here two power supplies, two of these DC to DC converters, buck converters, and they're these digitally controlled ones, so they have a display, and in this case they have both have these dual displays, and they also both have four buttons, and they're identically labelled. Minus an in, plus an out, set, and on off, and this is exactly the same. But are they from the same manufacturer? And in fact, what are the similarities between them and what are the differences? And there are a surprising number of differences. So let's go through uh, this and let's do a little bit of an investigation. But I think the first thing to do is to power these things up. So let's do this one first. Uh, this one says DROCK on the back of it. And it came with this leaflet, uh, which is also DROCK, DROCKING.COM. Let's power this one up. And this one has uh, two displays, a blue one for voltage on the top, it actually says V, uh, a red one for amps on the bottom, there's an A there. Uh, you can switch between the input voltage, which is 12.9, and a little light on the input side lights up, or the output voltage, which is currently zero, little light on the output lights up. That, of course, when I switch the unit on, and the blue light is for on, goes to its currently set voltage, which is nine volts. Okay, so that's the drop. Now this one doesn't have much written on it, apart from here uh, in sort of tinned copper. It's hard to say, but it's uh, hard to see. It says DP 30V5A, 30 volts, five amps. And this one came with this leaflet, uh, which is from the Rui Deng company, and it is indeed a DP 30V 5 amps. Okay, let's power this one on. Now you can see that this one has two red displays and uh, when the output is off, the bottom one actually says off. So the operating system on this one does look quite different. If I turn the output on, then the bottom display shows current. I can also select between the input voltage, that little red light there is for input voltage, 13.1, and the output voltage. There's no output um, LED, but you can see that the output voltage on this one is set to 10 volts, input 13, output 10. The two LEDs here are actually for CV and CC, so you can see whether it's in constant voltage mode, which it is at the moment, obviously, because there's no load, or constant current mode. So that's the Rui Deng. In terms of the operating system, they do look rather different. Now let's look at the power components. Uh, both have a reasonably large inductor. This one is quite a bit larger. I think this one's rated for 5 amps and this unit's rated for 3 amps, so that explains the difference in size. But in terms of power um, semiconductors, this one uses a uh, switch mode buck chip, whereas this one uses uh, a separate MOSFET and diode. So the switch mode uh, controller chip on the DROC is the XL4005. And uh, that's this, it's a five amp, uh, that's interesting, I thought that would be three amp, 32 volt uh, wide, five volt to 32 volt input voltage range and the output from 0.8 to 30. Now interestingly, the DROC leaflet that came with this does say output current naught to five amps, over two amps should enhance the heat dissipation. Yes, like that's going to be easy. And uh, I am going to put links to all of these data sheets in the description if you want to follow along with this. Now the power components on the Rui Deng are a J652 MOSFET and an RB085T, I believe that is, uh, diode. Now you can tell that's a diode because if we flip it round you can see, if I uh, let the exposure go to normal, you can see that the outer two pins are actually both connected together and both connected to this ground plane which goes to the uh, negative of the output capacitor and the negative of the input capacitor. So this is definitely a diode, it's one of these dual diodes. Let's take a look at those two devices. So the J652 is actually a 2SJ652, it's a P-channel power MOSFET, which is unusual. Uh, 60 volts, they call it minus 60 volts because it's P-channel. 28 amps, uh, theoretically, if it's uh, massively heat-synced. And whether or not the legs could support 20 amps is another issue. 
but that's a nominal value based on the uh, resistance, which is 38 milliohms. Now, this also has a very low gate drive voltage, 4 volts. Uh, here's the big diode. It's uh, two diodes, actually, with both the cathodes connected together on the center pin and the anodes on the outer two pins. Uh, this thing can hold off a reverse voltage of 90 volts and uh, 10 amps forward current. So the drop uses an off-the-shelf uh, switch mode controller chip with a high power drive. There are no additional high current components, whereas the Rui Deng uses a MOSFET, a diode, and it's probably all controlled by the microcontroller. Let's take a look at those microcontrollers. So the Drock has an STM8S005K6. Now this is an 8-bit microcontroller. Uh, here it is, it's a value line, 16 megahertz, 8-bit MCU with flash, EEPROM, 10-bit uh, ADC timers and all that kind of stuff. Now the microcontroller in the Rui Deng is also an ST, but it's a 32F100C8. And here's that one, STM32F100X8. Uh, now this is called a low and medium density, also value line, but it's an advanced ARM-based 32-bit MCU with flash, timers, ADC, DAC, and communications interface. And it has an ARM 32-bit Cortex-M3 CPU. Ooh! Now that ooh noise is really just me not knowing anything about ARM Cortex uh, M microcontrollers. So I've gone to Wikipedia, a group of 32-bit RISC ARM processors uh, licensed by ARM Holdings. What else can we find out here? Uh, well, we can see by just scrolling down a little way that there are Cortex M0, Cortex M0+, Plus, M1, M3, M4 and M7 types. And in fact, there are some dates here. So the M3 looks like it was the earliest one, 2004. The M0, 2009, M0 plus 2012. And only a couple of years ago, the Cortex M7. Now, I'm not going to pretend to know uh, all of this stuff, but you can see that the M0 and M1 are von Neumann architecture. The M3 to M7 are Harvard. Uh, all of these Cortex M series chips have, or designs actually they are, they're, they're, they're not really chips because ARM don't make chips. They produce the uh, intellectual property and then other companies, and ST for example, make the chips. Um, they all have hardware multiply. The three at the top have 32-bit result and these have a 32 or 64-bit result. But what's thumb and what's thumb to? <laughs> A uh, hardware divide, uh, the top three don't have it and the bottom three do. And uh, here's a list of processor instructions. We've got some add with carry, add, oh, all sorts of stuff in there, multiply. And you can see which of the cores have these instructions and which don't. So the 8-bit microcontroller in the DROC unit is probably just handling uh, display, keyboard and uh, holding the settings and just controlling the um, switch mode power supply chip. In this one, possibly the reason for a more powerful microcontroller is because it's probably also in the feedback loop of the switch mode section of the circuitry as well. So it's doing real-time control of the MOSFET uh, in order to uh, generate the necessary output voltage. Now, both these devices have uh, a 7133 regulator, which I'm guessing is 3.3 volts. Uh, that would be borne out by this 220 microfarad 4 volt uh, tantalum capacitor immediately below it. Uh, here's the 7133 on the Rui Deng, and we can assume from the layout here that it's driving the CPU at 3.3 volts. Now the Rui Deng also has two additional switch mode uh, chips. It has uh, this one here, the XL7005 with its own inductor, and a tiny one up there, which I can't actually get close enough to get the number, but that also has its own inductor. Let's look at the XL7005. Uh, that's this one here. It has a very wide input voltage, 5 volts to 80 volts. Now I know that some of these Rui Dengs can uh, go up to 50 volts, 
So maybe that's why they've chosen this chip for those particular products and they're using it in this one as well. Uh, this one, what's this one go up to? Okay, this uh, unit takes 40 volts on its input, so uh, that's that. Now it's only uh, 0.4 of an amp output current, so this is to provide a small amount of current, probably for the microcontroller. I'm just wondering whether it goes from f um, the input voltage down to 5 and then drops that further to 3.3 in the linear regular ma regulator. Maybe it does that. Uh, this other switch mode chip is a B6286P. Now this is more difficult to find, but an image search has brought up this, and that says it's an SDB628, uh, 2 amps possibly. So here it is, it's the SDB628, it's a 1.2 MHz 2 amp step up converter. And why would you need a step up converter? Uh, 2 to 20 volt, 4 volts in, 1.2 megs fixed switching frequency, so it's got a tiny little inductor. Uh, up to 28 volts on the output. Can't imagine what that's for. Okay, let's take a look at analog. Um, there's a couple of 358s on the drock, one there and one there. I'm guessing those are LM358s. And uh, we should know really that an LM358 is a dual op amp. And on the Rui Deng, uh, over on near the output side, in fact near the current sense resistor, so probably multiplying the voltage that's across that, is an MCP6002. Now that's a microchip, uh, Arizona microchip chip. Uh, here it is in a straightforward Google search. There's the chip and it is another dual op amp. Now there's one other chip on the Rui Deng that's quite interesting. It's this. It's a DP50V5A and that's interesting because it's very similar to the model number, which is a DP30V5A. And I know that Rui Deng do actually have uh, 50 volt, 5 amp versions of this sort of power supply, possibly not in this exact format. But look at all the resistors and capacitors around this chip. It's all C's and R's around there. So I'm just wondering whether this is... I don't know, something like a quad op amp, and they've just chosen to put their own number on it to try and throw off the copycat uh, manufacturers who just want to copy these things. But uh, it does look to me like that's probably analog, and it may just be a bunch of op amps. And uh, what's this teeny tiny thing here also on the Rui Den? Can't get my pencil in now. That one, the A63A, also near that um, current sense resistor. Well, that device marking is there, A63A, and if we scroll to the top, that's an LM321, low power, single op amp. So there they are, two uh, DC to DC converters, these um, sort of digitally controlled buck converters with a keyboard and a display user interface. Um, seemingly similar at first glance because of the keyboard and the display, but actually quite different in terms of the components that are on the boards. But take a look at this. Uh, this is the Drock website, uh, drocking.com, and they have both that one, which is the Rui Deng one we just looked at with the heatsink at the back and the two red displays. And they also have this one, which has the XL semi uh, controller chip and the blue and red displays. So Drock sell both of these. But do they manufacture them? Or are they both Rui Dengs and Drock are simply rebadging them? Who knows? So do these two power supplies come from the same manufacturer? Well, I don't know. It's impossible to tell. And maybe they were even designed by the same designer. Who knows? Unfortunately, my investigation hasn't revealed that. But it's certainly revealed a lot about what's on these boards and uh, possibly a little bit about how they work. Cheerio.